Uh, hi, I'm Liam Doherty. I'm an electrical engineering major at Cabrillo. Um, so to start off, um, I was part of the tank team along with Daniel, um, Ivan, and Mike, and uh, we we're the ones responsible for restoring these, the water system to the community. They had a set of three tanks or more up on the lower upper part of the of the village, but um, we were responsible for adding three more tanks, as Danny described. Um, luckily, we had an excellent, um, an excellent guy, Brandon, who, shortly, who led us through all the processes of setting up the hydraulic system there. Um, I came in, I didn't know anything about how to set up piping or how to manage a water system, but luckily we were taught from the ground up how to do that, and uh, I managed to learn quite a bit on the job site there. Um, so this pic these pictures um, illustrate not only um, the work we did in the middle, the middle picture is of Mike um, just basically screwing in part of uh, the tank that we were working on. Um, on the left are the pictures of some of the children that we worked with every single day. So when we were on the work site, um, these children would come come down from pretty much their house, or usually they'd actually be working, and then they'd see us, and then they'd come over and just have fun with us. Like we'd give them little toys and stuff, and try to I try to speak to them. I, my Spanish was abysmal, so I couldn't do that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> But I, I could communicate with them in other ways. Like they showed me like the local plants and flowers one time. And that was pretty cool. Um, and then another thing I did when this was not on the work site, but we stayed in Antigua in our homestead. And every morning, I would well, not every morning, but a few of the mornings until I got lazy, I would go out and do a long run up to this cross that overlooked Antigua. It was quite the amazing view, and uh, you could. It was the run itself was quite amazing, also because when you be going down the streets, everyone you'd see would like greet you, and, and it's not something you normally experience here in Santa Cruz. People would be, I mean, some parts, but at least in where I'm from, they people would probably ignore you if you're trying to be friendly to them. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> These are just some funny photos I got of, uh, there's two Chris's, big, uh, Chris Reynoldson and Chris Sweeney, and uh, yeah, I just got some fun little photos of them, but uh, on the, the left, upper left, is a picture of Chris Sweeney, um, we were at the, um, this, Ma uh, a bunch of Mayan um, women were demonstrating how they, uh, made these elaborate clocks and talked a little bit about their culture and made some food for us and afterwards we got to look at their art that they created and that's a picture of Chris. He just bought a nice handbag and he's noticing how tall he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we went to McDonald's. It's nothing like the McDonald's here, but yeah. It's, um, Afterwards, we went to a Tikal, and uh, I'm, I was actually more interested in animals than I was in the um, history. I'm really interested in the love animals, so um, I was re really shocked to see all these neat creatures. For instance, this turkey over here, I don't know the, uh, the species name of it, but it's, oh, it yeah, what's it called? Oscillated turkey. Oscillated turkey, so but I, I believe it's the, um, it's exclusive to Tikal. It can only be found in Tikal. It's a really bright color. The turkeys around here are kind of boring. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, they're not as vibrant. And uh, that animal on the lower left is called a guacamundi. It's in the raccoon family. And uh, it was one part of our experience. About like probably 30, a troop of about 30 of them just came into the forest bed with us. And, they're just kind of surrounding us. <laughs> it was pretty. It was pretty awesome. There's huge insects too. I, I, it's like a grasshopper right there. But we also saw. I saw a huge 
think, relative of tarantula there. A little cutaway. Um, I did not see a jaguar. And I did not take that off the internet. I actually just photoed the, a local sign that they had. <laughs> so it's not sure. completely cheating. But, you know, <laughs> they were telling us that people had seen jaguars um, recently in the area. So and a future group, if they're lucky, will get to see something. Like that. <laughs> yes, yeah, you can get eaten the one. <laughs> So it's an experience I will cherish not only for the amazing people I met and the learning experience I had, but also the food was really good. <laughs> this is not, like the upper left photo is not um, traditional Guatemalan food, but I've never really had deep fried um, French toast before, so, so I had to throw that up there. <laughs> yeah, and um, on the bottom left, it's a photo of our dining table that we meet every morning. Um, bottom, bottom left. Bottom left. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, every morning and every night we get together as a group because on the work site we'd be separated in our respective areas. But it was really nice to, at the end of the day and in the morning, all get together and kind of discuss what we had been through. And it was just an amazing experience overall. That was my presentation.